Have you ever wondered why a government would choose to privatize its state-owned enterprises? Today, we're delving into the recent developments in Kenya, where the government has initiated plans to privatize several parastatals. The Kenyan government has recently proposed the inclusion of several state-owned enterprises in its privatization program. This list includes the Kenyatta International Convention Center, the Kenya Pipeline Company, and the New Kenya Cooperative Creameries, among several others. But why, you might ask? The primary aim is to generate more revenue and reduce the demand for government resources, a move that is guided by the 1998 policy paper on public enterprises reform and privatization and the Privatization Act of 2005. But it's not just about finances. Kenya's president, William Ruto, believes that privatization could inspire market activity. The president envisions stock exchanges transforming Africa into a global economic powerhouse, a vision that's hindered by regulatory red tape. With Africa's potential for five company listings a day, the move towards privatization could signal a significant shift in the continent's economic landscape. The decision to privatize these companies is also driven by other factors, such as poor financial performance and the desire to attract private sector investment. In the case of the Kenyatta International Convention Center, for example, the government plans to incorporate it into a limited company, a move driven by the need for incorporation into limited companies and the aspiration to draw in private sector capital. This move towards privatization comes at a time when Kenya faces liquidity challenges and seeks funding options to repay its $2 billion euro bond. The government's plan is to privatize a total of 35 state companies, an ambitious plan that could significantly impact the Kenyan economy and its global economic standing. In conclusion, the Kenyan government's move to privatize its state-owned enterprises is a multifaceted strategy aimed at boosting the economy, inspiring market activity, and addressing financial challenges. With plans underway, the world watches keenly as this African nation embarks on its journey towards economic transformation.